Okay, and uh, we're back with some more Grandia 2. I'm getting kind of tired of going through all these areas and finding all these battles and stuff. Hopefully we're about finished. I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, we're going to a scene here. But uh, we're not going to another town soon. We're going through uh, another area to find a bunch of stuff in, so... Um, I don't think that's as bad, though. It's a little more fun. I don't know. I mean, it seems like the last couple areas we've been through have just been kind of monotonous. Anyway, we've got this uh, big wall of clouds here. And in typical guy fashion, Rito just tries to jump into it. But uh, gets owned in the process. Good observations, guy. Looks like a... Uh-oh, they look like broken dolls. They kind of look like Tio. Look at that one up there in the top left. You can see uh, the... You know, like the hair and face are kind of the same looking. They are her sisters. So it's a bunch of broken automata. Or automata. Sorry. I guess that sounds like a plan, then. So, we're going to the Demon's Law next. Uh, it sounds like a pretty bad place, but it's it's not really. It's actually kind of a refreshing change from all this stuff we've been doing. I'm going to try to avoid as many enemies as I can, because I'm just tired of fighting stuff, to be honest. Uh, and getting surprised by those things aren't uh, isn't fun, either. Because they all like to use, you know, skills, so... Uh, uh, we're only two and a half minutes. I guess I can make a little bit of progress in the Demon's Law before I save. At least there should be a save point nearby. If there's not, I'm going to be uh, a little bit angry. <laughs> this has been one long recording session. You know, I mean, because I have to record all, uh, all of my parts for the week on weekends. So I'm basically sitting down doing all of this in one sitting. And when you have to keep going through area after area, fighting enemy after enemy, random battle after random battle, you know, it starts to get a little bit old. Uh, okay, I, as you can see, we have a, a boss thing there. It looks a lot like the Durham Minotaur. Uh, it's got the same animation and everything. There better be a save point around here. Ah, uh, there's not, is there? Of course there's not. Uh, I think I'm going to make a few uh, battle preparations here real quick. I'll tell you what they are after I do so. Okay, basically I just healed everybody up and gave Elena something to uh, boost her lightning spell power. Oh look, the save point is behind the beast. Of course it is, and he's got buddies to go along with him. This is going to be great. Okay, first, uh, those are Snow Leopards. They're kind of annoying. And there's a Lek Garter. So, uh, don't really know much about this. I'm kind of going in blind, but it shouldn't be too bad. Let's give them a few Zap Balls to do, uh, some damage to everything. Hopefully I can take out those, uh, the two little minions Hello. pretty quickly. You know, I still like that animation, that's pretty cool. Alright, he's gonna try to do something on Merrick, but I'm not gonna let him. Beast King Smash! Let's 
sky, take flight! Yep, just doing the basic thing. You know, I, I could cancel that, um, that buster horn that he's doing. I could use, like, 10 Second Slash or Merrick's Beast Fang Cut or something like that. But, uh, at the, you know, he's at pretty high health anyway, so... I mean, he can take a few hits. It's gonna be fine. I'd rather have the extra damage to try to speed this up a little bit if possible. Oh, wow, that was really devastating. Uh, well, let's, uh, try out this Gad Zap. I've never actually seen this before, I don't think, so... Should be cool. Hmm. Okay, that was interesting. Started out looking exactly the same as uh, Zap All there. I'm like, wait a minute, same animation? That's kind of, you know... Uh, kind of boring. Yeah, let's use Hellburner, it's new. Kind of has a sound glitch in it, though, which would be kind of funny to hear. Cool, that was a good idea. I didn't even think snow leopards would be, um, you know, would be weak to fire. Duh, makes sense, right? Ooh, look at that. That's some good damage. Sky, take flight. So let's just continue unloading on this dude. It's kind of nice, um, you know, having a boss fight for a change too, instead of just a bunch of little random enemies. So let's uh, see how this guy's doing in terms of health. 1639. Oh well, he's he's going down with this one then. See ya. Come, thunder, shake the heavens. See, that was pretty easy. It looks like we got a weapon for Merrick, too. Inferno Battle Axe. Look at all those special coins we got, 8,500. So anyway, there's a save point right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off for a little early, but there was a cool battle with some cool spell animations. So I guess that makes up for it. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time. We'll go into the Demon's Law, see what we can do here. So until then, adios.